Hey, what's up everybody? This is Rolando here. I want to say hi to all the Gainsborough Greens and Pampama community. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. Uh, I represent Recon Youth Outreach Service and today I'll be running a t-shirt creation workshop. That's right. I'll be teaching you how to be able to print your own designs on a t-shirt from start to finish. I hope you guys enjoy this workshop today. Check it out. So this is the equipment that we're going to be using today. First of all, this is my uh, laptop uh, and this machine here is a vinyl cutter. I'll be showing you later on how this machine works. We'll also be using the Epson 7710 uh, workforce printer to print out our designs and as well as our heat press machine where we'll be pressing our designs onto our t-shirts later on. So this is basically the whole setup and um, yeah we've got a few other things I'm going to show you as well. So we'll be printing onto two t-shirts today. Uh, you can find these t-shirts at uh, Big W, they're only like four dollars each. We'll also be using this uh, board to stick our vinyl on uh, as well as using this uh, A4 size vinyl. Um, heat transfer paper, A4 size as well as a pair of scissors and sellotape. Okay, so we're going to be using Google to find all of the images um, for our t-shirts and basically what you want to do is go into images, uh, go to tools, make sure you choose the large size images uh, and you can choose whatever you want. So you can look up Michael Jordan if you like, or cartoon, uh, if you want to do a Drake cartoon, you can use any of these images and um, whatever you like, even TikTok. Um, you can find TikTok designs out there, um, even if you want a TikTok logo, um, you can choose whatever you like. This is the beautiful thing about uh, designing, is you can use any design that you want to choose. Uh, if you like Ace at Rocky, uh, you can use, um, I, I like cartoons because the, those colors are really bright on a black t-shirt. So when I choose artists, I like to use cartoon versions. Um, there's a lot of Chris Brown cartoon designs out there as well. So there's so many different designs. Um, most of them are posters or, you know, artists have, graphic designers have created their own uh, versions of different people. Uh, but today uh, I want to use a Kobe Bryant mural, um, you know, to pay homage to Kobe Bryant and his daughter Gigi passing away uh, earlier this year. Uh, I seen this mural um, image the other day and I thought oh, be, this would be great to be able to use uh, onto, uh, you know, printing onto a t-shirt and so um, so once you find your image you, you save it onto your computer uh, and you can see this image is great look at it it's really nice and bright you can also see the artist here in the corner I think it's a pretty cool t-shirt design okay so once you've found your design um, you print and and what you want to do is make sure that the image is fully uh, you're using the whole A4 size sheet of paper and so you make sure you go to uh, the, you know, extend it to the border as well as fill the whole entire paper so now that we're ready to print you want to make sure that the settings are right on our printer and make sure that the paper type that we're going to be printing onto is matte rather than plain paper Okay, so now we're going to load up our heat transfer paper and so just to make sure that you got it the right way up, make sure that the squares are facing upwards and um, that way we make sure that the ink is actually going to the right side of the sheet. Okay, so now we press print and we're just waiting for the print and you're looking at the colours there, see how they're nice and bright and um, the ink is transferred onto the transfer paper very very well yeah that design was great okay so right about now we're going to be using this weeding tool uh, to separate the sheet of paper um, from the back sheet and so as you can see there we've got the we're separating the heat transfer paper from the back sheet and uh, yeah it looks great it's come out really well okay so what we're going to do before we uh, print the image onto the shirt, we 
we first preheat the shirt just to make sure we get rid of any uh, moisture and, uh, in the t-shirt and so what we do is we normally um, preheat it for about five six, six seconds okay five to six seconds okay now it's preheated uh, it's also created a flat surface for us to put our image on okay so now we just kind of use the eye test just to make sure that the image is straight um, and yeah normally just spend a few seconds just adjusting making sure that it's uh, center okay now we use this um, brown uh, heat transfer paper uh, just between the plates as well as the, the image okay, so this normally takes about 12 seconds to heat and then once it finishes it uh, releases it uh, automatically and all you gotta do is just peel the brown paper off and yeah the image is transferred really well Okay, so I'll do a bit of a stretch test just to make sure that the ink actually goes into the t-shirt. And it looks great. Okay, so for the next t-shirt we're going to be printing, uh, instead of heat transfer paper, we'll be using vinyl. And so, um, like the other t-shirt, we'll be finding our image on, uh, on Google. And what I'm looking for is a, a white logo because basically uh, we'll be using a white sheet of vinyl to um, heat onto our t-shirt. And so I seen this image um, a while ago, it's called Hope Dealer. I think it's a great design. And so for this um, t-shirt today, we'll be using uh, this particular uh, image. So once you find it again, uh, you just save it onto your computer. It's good to create your own uh, folder uh, to be able to easily find the images that you save onto your uh, computer. Okay, so once you've done that, what we do is we're going to be using uh, a software program called uh, Silhouette uh, to be able to uh, design and manipulate the image that we've chosen uh, to be able to uh, cut using vinyl and so um, once we've transferred the image onto the silhouette program we can expand it we can begin to edit our image and so what I'm trying to do here is just position it so that I can eventually uh, trace it and so as you can see I'm just adjusting it here I'm just trying to get uh, the image as big as I can and then I've got once I've done that I'll go into this uh, trace tool and what this does I'll highlight the image that I would intend to uh, cut and then once I've done that I press trace and then it's left with this border um, and so this border uh, or image I can also uh, manipulate and I can edit I can resize it um, and reposition it on the actual canvas okay so what I'm doing here now I'm just um, adjusting it just making sure that it actually fits onto the uh, actual canvas and then once I've done that I can flip it because what we want to do is uh, when you're transferring it onto the uh, t-shirt you want to make sure that it's on backwards so that it can appear the correct way um, on the t-shirt so once I've done that I press send and here I'm just adjusting the settings uh, for the vinyl cutter so I'm making sure that, uh, that uh, it's on cut I'm also making sure that it's on uh, ratchet blade and the certain settings here um, I want to switch it from 20 to 18 I also want to switch it to 5 and once I've done that all the settings are the way I want it okay and so the next thing I do is I'll be uh, sellotaping this A4 size vinyl paper onto the vinyl board uh, so that way once it goes through the vinyl cutter 
uh, it doesn't move and it's stable and so uh, it's very important to do this otherwise um, the sheet normally uh, can get loose and, and then the vinyl cutter will basically cut it in places that you don't want it to cut okay so once I've done that it's time to load it up into the vinyl cutter it's very important to also make sure that it's lined up correctly using this blue uh, guideline uh, then I press load and then and so now it's cutting and so basically what it's done is uh, doing is it's working uh, with the computer to be able to uh, cut the very image that we had chosen and edited on the silhouette program and so it's also important to make sure there's at the back of the cutter um, cutting machine it's clear so that way um, nothing interferes with the vinyl board um, otherwise you don't want it to mess up your design okay so now the vinyl cutter is just finishing the last few cuts okay now it's time to uh, weed the actual vinyl image so what you do is you you basically peel back um, the vinyl that's unneeded and it should then expose our design okay so make sure you don't you're not too rough here because you don't want to pull up any of the vinyl that you want to keep on the actual sheet because that's all going to be on transfer it later on to your t-shirt so it is a you know you can't be too rough but at the same time um, you know it's pretty much on there it's pretty well um, it's stuck on there pretty well okay so once you've done that what I'm gonna do is just weed out the um, the vinyl that's in some of these letters going to do now is just remove the sellotape um, and we want to take this whole sheet off so that we can cut out our, our image the only part that we want is the the white letters so we're getting rid of the white borders if we left that on that will actually be transferred onto your t-shirt so we don't want that so we're getting rid of these borders here Okay, so what we're going to do now is prepare the t-shirt uh, to be printed on and just similar to the, the last shirt, we're going to preheat the shirt just to get rid of any moisture uh, as well as creating a flat surface uh, for the image to be pressed onto the t-shirt and um, so here I'm just adjusting uh, the t-shirt the to be able to place the uh, image where I want it and uh, so what I'm looking for here I'm looking to put it on the chest area okay so now I'm using the Teflon sheet there uh, to be able to protect the image um, as it's being heat pressed on okay so this process takes again 12 seconds and then once it's done it automatically releases Teflon paper and so what I'm going to do is just wait for a little bit and now I'm about to peel and there you go the image is being transferred very nicely onto the shirt there you go and these uh, vinyl prints tend to last a very long time as well as the heat transfer prints as well um, so there you go two types of t-shirt prints uh, heat transfer uh, using uh, heat transfer paper which has uh, you can have any uh, uh, image with as many colors as you like and then we have our vinyl design uh, which we've used just the one color 
and with heat transfer dead onto the t-shirt. Okay, so we've come to the end of our workshop for today. Hope you guys really enjoyed that. Uh, I want to thank Gainsborough Greens and Enriching Communities. Uh, it's been fun uh, being online with you today. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that and learned something new today. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give these t-shirts away to somebody out there. So if you want these uh, t-shirts or if you want a t-shirt, uh, let us know and we'll send that out to you. But thanks again for having me. Uh, this is Rolando from Recon Youth Outreach Service. And I hope to come back again and run some other workshop with you guys. Okay, take care.